Oh, hi, and thanks for joining us. I'm Nick Petrillo. Welcome to Courier TV News Election Coverage 2018. The polls are now closed. We preview the races that everyone is talking about in DuPage County. It's been a hard-fought race on who will be the next governor of Illinois. CNTV reporter Vercel Dayak took a look at the most expensive governor's race in U.S. history. Nice people, they're voting for him. Maybe I can vote for him. In the race for Illinois governor, Democrat J.P. Presker is up against Republican incumbent Bruce Rauner. As of October 16th, Presker is holding a 13-point lead, according to polls conducted by the Illinois Broadcasters Association. Also running are independent conservative Sam McCain and libertarian Cass Jackson. The budget impasse, the longest in the nation's history, left Rauner facing criticism from both parties. Rauner offered two solutions to combat deficit spending. Either you give the executive branch the authority to cut spending, to live within our revenues, or agree on economic and governmental reforms. To accommodate a negotiated balance of spending reductions and revenue that ensures that Illinois can be both compassionate and competitive. But Prisker believes that Rauner has made budget cuts in places critical to the state's economic prosperity. Our governor, Bruce Rauner, has cut higher ed funding by 20 percent, and he's proposed a 30 percent cut in higher ed. I think that that's wrong, and in fact, it's one of the reasons why 72,000 kids in the state of Illinois chose not to go to school here. Rauner expressed similar concerns in August, while signing $25 million in state funds for a new merit-based scholarship program for Illinois students. We want to create a place where our young people want to learn and put what they have learned into practice through careers that enrich our economy and make Illinois a better place to live. Amidst what many consider a turbulent period for the state of Illinois, this is one of the most heated governor races in the country, and it's not over yet. So I'm excited about the change that we're going to bring to the state of Illinois, but everybody's got to get out and vote. Joining us in the studio to discuss all of today's election news is adjunct instructor Bill Enright of the Political Science Department. Now, Bill, is there anything else you'd like to add about the governor's race? Well, you know, I know that uh, certainly as far as the results go, we're going to be looking at, again, as I mentioned earlier, the idea that uh, a couple of these other candidates in the conservative and libertarian party could be stealing votes from Rauner, and so that could certainly impact it. But then once somebody gets in, and, you know, it certainly looks like in the polls that J.B. Pritzker has the lead, that, um, you know, what's he going to do to govern? Is he going to increase taxes on the rich? And when he increases taxes on the rich, is it going to be for those who make 250000 or 450000 So I don't know if that's going to impact your tax liability <laughs> or not, but, you know, you could run into those troubles. And so uh, then we're also going to take a look at the state legislature. Is he going to have a supermajority with the Democrats? The way that the state looks like it's going, he could end up with such a large lead. And the... Uh, House and the Senate have a supermajority where he could get anything done that he wants. All right, and next race we're going to look at is DuPage County. Uh, the Illinois 6th Congressional District has been attracting a lot of attention and as one of the most competitive campaigns in the entire country. And CNTV reporter Sarah Vasek went across DuPage to catch a glimpse of this race that could determine who controls the House of Representatives. All 435 seats in the U.S. House of Representatives are up for election this year, one of them belonging to Illinois' 6th Congressional District, covering parts of DuPage, Cook, Lake, Kane, and McHenry counties. Up for re-election is the six-time seat holder, Republican Peter Roskam. Roskam is being challenged by Democratic Energy Executive Sean Caston. For Peter Roskam, one of the biggest issues is taxes. He was one of the authors and architects who helped write the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act that passed late last year, and he believes that has brought a lot of benefit to the district. Go out and talk to the folks that I did in Downers Grove, who are a manufacturing facility, and they said, but for the tax changes, they would not have bought a $4 million piece of equipment. As someone who's worked in the clean energy industry in the past, Sean Caston says that Global warming is the biggest existential challenge facing us as a nation and a world. I spent the last 16 years running companies that built over 80 clean power projects that reduced CO2, lowered energy costs, created jobs, and proved that if you're, if you're smart about it and problem focused, there is no trade-off between your morals and your wallet. Peter Roskam, the incumbent Republican, has a lot of experience and a lot of name recognition in the district. Democrat Sean Caston could be part of a blue wave in the face of a Republican government led by President Trump. 
As we draw closer to the midterm of one of the most controversial presidencies in American history, this congressional race between an experienced incumbent and an innovative challenger is hard to predict. Polling groups and political watchers are saying this is going to be a very close race. Now, Bill, what's your take on this election? Well, first of all, you can see that gerrymandered district, and they sort of drew that out so that there'd be uh, a lot of Republicans squeezed into that district. And we thought that that would be a safe district for Republicans, but now it looks like it's not going to be. It looks like Kasten's really got a chance to take this seat away from uh, Roscom, and you would have no, never suspected that uh, in the past. Uh, also, really, control of the U.S. House of Representatives goes through DuPage County with this race. And so if Roscom goes down, and then certainly uh, the other one with the 14th District with Hultgren versus Underwood, that could also be another race that goes through DuPage County or parts of DuPage County to take over the House of Representatives for the Republicans. And then, of course, many other states need to fall in the line, too. But it looks like California, um, Florida, uh, Pennsylvania, some of those states will also be uh, having real close races where some Democrats could be taking seats from what maybe would have been considered safe Republican seats. Well, we'll see how the House falls as soon as the numbers start coming in for DuPage then. Yeah. But something else we want to take a look at in DuPage County is some of the local legislative races. What's your take on those? Yeah, the state races are also interesting. Tara Costa Howard versus Peter Breen. Uh, that one I'm surprised again because it's, uh, you know, would, what would normally be considered a pretty safe Republican seat, yet uh, Tara Costa Howard's put up a good race. And I live in Glen Ellen, and that's ground zero for that race. And uh, I can tell you there's signs everywhere although there's signs everywhere for both of them, but <laughs> there's signs everywhere. And so uh, I know it's going to be a close race and again, probably a surprise too. All right. Well, thank you, Bill. This has been your election update. Thank you for choosing Courier TV News for your election coverage this evening. Again, we'll be back at 8.30 p.m. with more updates, including candidates' reactions and analysis. We'll also have live reactions to the local elections on our Facebook page at Courier TV. We leave you now with a segment we like to call Chap Chat. We asked COD students who they think will be the next governor. Uh, honestly, I have no idea. I, personally, I think both the main candidates are terrible. <laughs> I think JB, because he just seems more like friendly. And I haven't really seen much of Bruce Rauner, but I like the commercials I see from JB, but I haven't done enough research to like decide. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, don't, I haven't really been paying attention that much, so I don't really have like a set idea. But I'd probably say Bruce Rauner, if I was to say someone. Who do you think is going to win the election? Bruce Rauner. Ooh, I'm hoping Pritzker. So I, I really don't know much about Rauner, but from what I heard about Pritzker, I'm a little more interested, especially on the veteran side. So I'm hoping you can do a little bit more for the veterans. 